Hi friends, how are you? Hope you're well and that you're having a good day. I decided to come on here. I know I'd said in a previous video that I'd see you in 2021 and then I thought about it and thought it'd be quite nice to chit chat about maybe what I'm going to, my reading goals are going to be for 2021. Um, so this ought to be a, hopefully a, a fairly quick video um, because in many ways I've decided I'm not going to set any goals this year. I will stick to my 50 books on Goodreads. I did that this year and I you know, I have blown that out of the water. I think I'm at 130 at the moment um, at the time of recording this, um, which is the 27th of December. Will I get another book in for? I don't know. And we'll see. If I do, fine. If I don't, I'm not going to cry over spilt milk or anything like that. It's just like I've achieved that amount this year, which for me is very good. I think, excuse me, given what I've been going, what I was going through health wise, that to re reach that goal this year or reach that target this year is brilliant. But I decided that. I don't want a lot of pressure next year. I'm going to be pressurised enough in that I'm hoping to go back to my PhD. And that is going to be, I am, I'm now realising I'm actually going to have to change completely how I'm doing it um, or collecting, collecting my data. Because given the situation, I don't want to be going out talking to lots of people and I'm sure as heck that they don't want to be coming out, want me to come out and talk to them. So I'm actually going to have to change my methodology completely, but that's fine. That's okay. So it's going to mean a lot of work. So I just decided this year that we'll stick to 50 books. And if I reach 50, great. If I don't, I'm not going to bother about it. I'm just going to this year be a mood reader. I'm just going to pick up a book that I just fancy reading at that time doesn't matter the genre whatever if I fancy reading it I'll read it if I don't I won't um because I think a lot of people are getting or have been anyway oh I've got to read this book I've got to read that book I've got to read the next book somebody else is saying oh this is a great book this is a great book and I think a lot of us get caught in that and that you're like oh this is this is supposedly the next great thing I've got to read it whether we actually want to read it or not so I've decided that <clears throat> I'm jumping off the bandwagon, guys. You know, there are lots of books out there that are hyped and that everybody's going, oh, you've got to read this, you've got to read that. And there were two, at least, no, there were two books this year in 2020 that I was, like, so excited about reading. And one of them, both of them got really well hyped. And I pre-ordered them and I was, like, so, so looking forward to them. And I DNF'd them because I just couldn't get into them and they were both hardbacks so it was like it was basically I wasted money and I decided no I'm not doing that again no way yes there are books that I know that are coming out this year that I think yeah I want to read and I will yeah I think I probably will there's one definitely the new court the uh, Sarah J Mass the Court of Thorns and Roses series I will I want to read the next book so yeah, I'll read that, but as far as any other hyped books go or anything like that, or the ones that are maybe sort of most popular on YouTube, on BookTube, if I want to read it, I'll think about it. I will, you know, if I if I like the sound of the book, etc., I will investigate it more, but I'm not going to be caught up in all the hype and everything else. I've just decided that that's just not, it's not me, and it never was me. Um, I kind of just want to read things I want to read, which is what I have been doing. But yes, I have at times fallen down the the rabbit hole of oh, I've got to read this, I've got to read that. Um, but no, not this year. I do also plan to. I would like to get rid of not get rid of. I'd like to read my TBR pile that I have here that I didn't finish this year. I want to do that. I have a lot of books on my Kindle Fire. I'm actually spending, going to spend some time today, tomorrow, just sorting that out, so seeing, right, do I really want to read it? No, yes, no, yes, no. Um, I think at the moment I've got 200 odd books on there. And I think I quite like to try and read for my Kindle Fire this year um, and just try and get that number down. 
I'm I'm quite I'm terrible in some ways in that I will read a Kindle Fire book and I'll think oh I've got to keep it. If I've read it, you know, if it's not one that I think I'll read again, I think I just need to delete it off my Kindle Fire and just say right okay I've read it fine, thank you very much bye bye. And net as far as Net Galley goes, I think I've got something like eight books on there that I have to read and review. Some that are coming out in January and some sort of February, one February, one March. So I'll get them ready. I've got a couple of backlists. I will get to them again this year. My goal with NetGalley actually is that maybe just go on every couple of months, maybe one month. One, every, what, get, what am I trying to say? I will go on maybe once a month and I will apply for one book. And if I get that book, great. If I don't, I don't. Um, again, NetGalley for me is Kid in a Sweet Shop. Oh my gosh, loads and loads of books. Let's try reading that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And I end up with this huge pile and I just feel the pressure building and building and building. Oh gosh, publication date's coming out. Oh, I don't want that. I really don't want that. So that's why I just want to take as much pressure off myself as I can and just think, let's enjoy reading. Let's enjoy it just for the pure joy of picking up a book, reading not having to think, oh gosh, I've got to review this, I've got to publish, you know, etc, etc. I will review books because if I enjoy it, I want to tell you about it. So that's my plan reading-wise for this year. Um, plan for videos. I think I find it really hard to sit down and do monthly wrap-up videos. As you see, they have been gone and went, as the vernacular says here in Scotland. Um, they they have they have fared gone and flung flung out the windy. Aye, no, I can't do that. I just I find it really hard just to sit, try and sit down and just do it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and continue on with my Friday reads videos. Again, they've gone out the window the uh, part of this year. I would like to bring them back. And I think what I would maybe do at that point is go from Friday to the Friday. And go well. Okay, this is what I plan to read over this over the weekend. This is what I've been reading this week, and do it that way. And I think that's going to work out a lot better for me. If there are books that I've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed, yes, I plan to try and review them for you, so that you're getting say a book review from me as well. Maybe one a month or maybe two a month, just depending on the books. But again, I am not putting that in stone. I quite I did quite enjoy the vlogging aspect last year, but I just got into the coming up to Christmas. There was just so much I was needed to do, and it was stuff that was private to me. And I just because was, I was actually working in presents for my boyfriend, and I just wanted to just no, I wanted that just to be between us and not share with anybody else. So hopefully, I will get back to doing some form of vlogging this year. As I say, I don't really like vlogging in public, but if I'm out somewhere and I see something interesting, I will maybe try and video it for you. So that's my plans for 2021 reading-wise and YouTube channel-wise. If there are any videos that you would really like, like to see me do, please let me know down in the comment and I will consider it. I know that a number of people like my cookery videos. I will try and do more, depending on what I'm, obviously, if I'm cooking, or, yeah, I will be cooking, but if I'm baking and stuff like that, I will try and do some more. But again, no promises. Um, this year, for me, learn, I've learned that I don't cope a, with an awful lot of pressure. That pressure just builds and builds and builds, and it's just not a good thing for me. So, yeah, but please let me know down in the comments what your reading plans are for 2021. Are you setting goals? If you are, what are they? Um... And yeah, chat. Let's chat in about whatever. It would be really nice to have some chats down in the comments. But I will see you soon. I will definitely this time see you in 2021, guys. But have a great new year. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.